Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Get Right with Digibyte. My name is Mike, and it's another fantastic day on the Digibyte blockchain. And I'm super stoked for today's guest. Joining us is Paul, who is the social media and marketing manager with Change Now. Change Now is a cryptocurrency swap exchange which offers access to multiple tokens and coins, including Digibyte, as well as other cryptocurrency tools. Also joining us is Tim, who is the business development manager with Now Nodes, as well as Anna, who is the marketing manager for Now Nodes. Now Nodes offers blockchain explorers for over 1,000 coins and tokens. Thank you all for joining us on Get Right with Digibyte. How are you all doing today? Yeah, it's great. Thanks for asking. Fantastic. Us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Great. Well, it's great to have you all here. You know, we've got a lot to dig into today, but before we jump in, uh, Paul, if we could start with you, if you could just spend a few minutes to tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, how did you get involved with cryptocurrency and what led to your current role with Change Now? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, um, back in 2017, I've been working uh, at uh, a Cyprus based uh, Forex broker. Like, uh, they decided to pivot to crypto. So, like, to incentivize the, like, the interest in crypto between its employees, they kind of, like, gave us all <laughs> uh, half a Bitcoin each. It wasn't worth uh, a lot back then, but, like, yeah, lo- like a bonus, you know? But, oh, boy, <laughs> did it keep growing, right? So, yeah, uh, the company decided to pivot back to, like, traditional finance afterwards. Uh, but so I was still, uh, like, I was hooked on crypto big time. And so I went on. I started working at a centralized exchange first uh, as a community manager. Yeah, but I still felt like something's missing, you know. Uh, so I went on custodial and like two years ago, I started to work uh, change now as a community manager as well. And well, well, kind of, I'm right now I'm a marketing manager. And like if like there is a social media post on any of the change now social media. Yes, that's the guy that made it. <laughs> Well, that's great. Uh, Thank you for sharing that. And uh, Tim, uh, how about you? How did you first get involved with blockchain technology and what led to your role with Now Notes? Uh, Okay, I'll start with, uh, I think this is a funny story. Uh, So I faced the blockchain technology and flipped approximately 10 or 12 years ago in far 2010, I think, uh, when I studied in the university. One day, my friend uh, told me that he bought uh, five or 10 Bitcoins and confidently told me uh, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's a, our future. Uh, so it's the coolest and most progressive thing uh, in the world. And that time I told him that it's a kind of bubble scam and he just wasting his time and he just sent his $10 somewhere in the hole. Uh, after that, I graduated from the university and we were no longer in touch with this friend. And guess what? Uh, can you imagine my surprise when I saw a new BMW in his Instagram profile last year? It's a true story, guys. And uh, then I decided to get closer to the blockchain and found, uh, find, um, found an open uh, position in Now Notes. Uh, studied, quite, studied quite a lot and understood how deep and uh, powerful uh, blockchain technology is. And from now, I'm trying to find out how blockchain uh, or how now nodes uh, can help other companies to cut their costs. And also two months ago, I bought a Ledger Nano X. I think, you know, it's a hardware wallet and sent my first cryptocurrency in this wallet. Not much, honestly, but as from now, I started my crypto journey. And I think we have a great decentralized uh, web three future. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's a great story. Um, really Anna, new, it... new <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, the, we all know that that person that, that got involved uh, for us. And then, uh, you know, mm-hmm. they, they obviously uh, get to reap the rewards of uh, being early. Um, so, Anna, moving on to you, uh, tell us a little bit about how did you get involved with uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology and uh, what led to your role now with uh, Now Notes? Mm-hmm. Uh, For the first time, I heard about uh, cryptocurrency back in 2013. I can say I took it seriously. Um, One friend of mine told me um, about Bitcoin. And the only thing I got to learn is the word Bitcoin. And then in 2016, the other friend of mine started to mine in his garage. And uh, he was explaining about cryptocurrency, about the mining process, he was sharing his ideas on the future of cryptocurrency, and it was very exciting. Uh, and that was the crucial moment for me. Um, 
when, um, which led uh, to a new turn in my career. Today, I'm working in now not as a marketing manager. And before, um, uh, before that, I was working in a crypto lending company uh, in a similar position. Wow, that's great. Yeah, it's, um, and, and it's you know, great to hear, you know, people's backgrounds or story, you know, how they got involved, because, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, people say, oh, well, you guys are, are in early, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it once you, uh, you know, you get in and you meet people who are like earlier than yourselves, or, you know, you're sometimes you feel it's like you're playing catch up just to learn, like, to wrap your head around this technology. And, um, and I, I consider myself kind of in that same boat where you know, I'm still learning and still trying to, to figure things out. And it's great to have people like yourselves on here because you know you, you know a lot of things that um you know maybe you know other people don't uh and so it's a great opportunity to to learn more and expand our horizons and uh really just get out and um uh you know see what all the possibilities are uh so paul if we can come back to you if you could tell us a little bit more about change now uh you know when did change now first launch and what assets did it start out with and and how has it grown over the years yeah, sure. Well, uh, Change Now is uh, five years old now and counting. Uh, it, it's like it was started back in 2017. Uh, well, uh, I can't really say which assets were like the first one, but I'm pretty sure like that that's, there weren't a lot of assets when it first began. But uh, with my two years uh, at Change Now, like I saw an exponential growth over, over these years. Like we started with something like 100 assets or something like this. And like now we're looking at 850 assets and counting. Like it's yeah, it's, it's been going great. Like we want to make sure that like uh, you name it, we got it uh, kind of approach to crypto. So uh, I think uh, actually Digibyte was uh, already was already integrated onto our platform when I when I first uh, came because like actually my first job at Change Now was to run a Digibyte raffle. You know, like uh, we were yeah we we're like giving away some some Digibyte. So yeah, that was like my, my first task on this project. So yeah, it's like I think. Uh, ever since like 2018, Digibyte has been integrated to change now already. So yeah, something like this. Well, that's great. And uh, you know, what are some of the features uh, of Change Now that you feel set it apart from other services? And uh, uh, what, what would you find are the most popular uh, with your customers and clients? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, like a killer feature for me while using Change Now is that uh, is something we call beneficial payouts. That means like like if you're like trading a volatile asset and the market rate changes in your favor during exchange, you will actually receive more, more money than we first initially showed. Yeah. So like you will, will actually willing to pay you more. Uh, yeah. Also, we offer like unlimited liquidity to our, uh, to our users because uh, we are cooperating with like, I think, 10 uh, different liquidity providers. So basically, like whatever crypto you got, we have the means to exchange it. So uh, and also we start as low as uh, two dollars. So like it's basically uh, it doesn't matter if you are like a beginner in crypto or like if you're a Bitcoin whale. We we got the means to like to process your exchange and like we're here for you. All the way, yeah. Wow, that's great. You know, uh, you know, it's an interesting uh, benefit you just mentioned because obviously there's a lot of volatility within the uh -huh. cryptocurrency market and there's can be huge swings and um, you know in the time it takes to execute that trade, you know, a lot of things can happen. And uh, they say if it's to the benefit of the user, well, they'll reap those benefits. And, uh, you know, you're not going to do any sort of a, sounds like a, like a clawback where you say, oh, wait a minute, you know, too much volatility in market. We're not going to let your, your trade go through. So that's a, that's a wonderful feature, I think, for you guys to, to offer you, to your customers. Uh, and Tim, let's, let's swing to you now, uh, talk more a little bit about uh, nodes. I mean, if you could just Explain to our audience and to myself as well, because, you know, I don't consider myself all too technical uh, about a lot of these things. You know, what exactly is a node and uh, why is it important? Mm, OK, uh, so I think, first of all, uh, it's important to mention what a node uh, is uh, for those who just started their uh, crypto journey and journey in the Web3 and blockchain technology. Uh, in simple terms, a node is a device, usually a server that uh, runs the blockchain protocol software. And there are two main types of nodes. Um, there are full nodes and uh, there are light nodes. A full node stores a full copy of uh, all blockchain transactions of, of history, while the light nodes uh, contain uh, only part of the transaction history. Usually it's uh, within last uh, one last block. And full nodes are also distinguished in several types uh, as 
prune nodes and uh, uh, archival nodes and master nodes and what else? Uh, the mining nodes also and the staking nodes. And in general, uh, all these types uh, refer to full nodes, uh, but with just different functions. And but today we'd like to focus on full nodes that are available uh, on the now node service and clarify that our nodes just verify the uh, validity of new blocks, uh, transmit information to other nodes uh, in the networks, and as a result, uh, store uh, the full information about the blockchain network. And using our nodes, uh, users can get um, uh, a history of blockchain transactions, get wallet assets, uh, check balance also, uh, get a number of current blocks, check uh, node height, and etc. So I think that's the main point. Okay. All right, well, some great info there. And, you know, how does uh, Now Nodes, um, you know, what is the role of it uh, within the larger Now ecosystem? Yeah, it's a quite a good question. Um, actually, we belong to a group of companies, uh, which include Change Now, uh, Paul from there, and Now Wallets, uh, Now Payments, and Now Nodes, it's our company. And Change Now and Now Payments were, uh, how to say it, extremely successful in providing excellent cryptocurrency services for more than five years and it's it's great uh, but building an exchange or payment service or wallet whatever is not only about the development it's not only about the creativity you know and, and about building user-friendly interface or adding new assets i think you understand what i'm talking about it has a lot of technical um, moments every project needs to solve and especially with the node ecosystem uh, we use to provide node infrastructure just for our work system for our wallet no payments and change now uh, but then a highly skilled uh, team of professional was formed and uh, we decided to expand our expertise uh, to help other projects with the node maintenance because uh, we know how exhausting and time consuming and uh, believe me, it's really costly, uh, it might be for a team. So uh, now not, uh, now is a separate company with a great number of uh, satisfied customers and partners. And for more than three years, we helped not only uh, blockchain-based companies, huge crypto businesses and exchanges, you know, to get a quick and cost-effective, also reliable connection to the node ecosystem. We were providing uh, easy access to more than 50 blockchains, uh, to more than 50 networks, uh, to more than 20,000 individual uh, developers and small projects and crypto enthusiasts also. So uh, now all of them can stay concentrated on the development of their projects and all the technical issues with the node infrastructure uh, are solved by our team. That's, well, that's great. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you guys have experienced a lot of growth uh, over uh, the last five years and, and been able to really connect and reach out and offer support to, to uh, projects throughout the entire uh, the entire industry. Uh, so that's that's great to hear. Yeah, I think it's just the beginning. Yeah. And Anna, let's uh, uh, shift to you from uh, the marketing point of view. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the uh, promotional aspects uh, that uh, now Nodes participates in and uh, specifically where it comes uh, to the Digibyte community? Mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning of December, um, don't know which year you will watch the video, in December 2022, uh, we performed uh, the quiz and giveaway on our Twitter account made with support of Digibyte Foundation uh, and Digibyte Influencers. Uh, Digibyte Enthusiast was answering uh, the questions about uh, structure and technical features of Digibyte blockchain. The winner was chosen randomly and um, for, from these people who successfully answered the questions um, and got our free API key to access uh, the, Digi, the Digi, Digibyte blockchain through our, we are our um, API key. As the price, we have transferred $50 directly to the wallet of the winner uh, and announced um, the um, winner um, in our Twitter account um, on uh, December 5th. Um, and um, we are oft we often uh, performing um, similar kind of giveaways and quizzes, um, promos uh, with 
uh, such a partners like Digibyte Foundation? 50 bucks for answering the, answering the question. Good deal. <laughs> well, I haven't heard about it. Question, questions <laughs> wasn't easy. So it wasn't easy to answer them. Uh, the only really, uh, like, Doesn't the real matter how hard they are. 50 bucks. Yeah, the only real Digibyte <laughs> enthusiasts answer them. So that's why it was uh, reasonable to give $50 for such a quiz. <laughs> okay, I'll take part in the next quiz, I think. <laughs> Oh, it's not allowed for the internal teammates. Like, if you're like if you're working at Nanos, there's definitely a conflict of interest, like taking part in such giveaways. <laughs> so yeah, don't know about that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that's great that you uh, you know offer that sort of uh, you know a contest uh, for you know because it it, it uh, you know like you say fifty bucks you know that's that's a nice reward to get um, and it also it, it fosters people to uh, you know engage. Uh, with now nodes and also to, to learn more about both now nodes, but also maybe, you know, and learn some things about Digibyte uh, that, you know, people may not have been aware of. So it's, uh, you know, it's great to, uh, you know, to see companies like yourselves, you know, participate and engage with the communities and, and uh, you know, offer an opportunity for them to learn, but also a chance uh, to win a great prize. Um, so, um, you know, if we could, uh, Paul, let's uh, circle back to you. And um, if we talk a little bit about, um, you know, you guys, you talked about the, the API keys and also I know Change Now has an open API uh, source. You know, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit, what does that mean and, and how can users benefit from it? Well, yeah, uh, uh, basically it means that like uh, any uh, any sort of like crypto project out there, uh, they can integrate Change Now exchanges into their own product. Uh, we are currently partners with like numerous crypto wallets uh, that's currently currently offer change now exchanges and then like atomic wallets guardian wallets ballet wallet trezor uh we are one of the like swap providers at, at exodus uh, like uh, and like ooh, a lot of hardware wallets uh, also utilize change now swaps and everything so yeah basically uh <clears throat> what we're aiming for is like uh <clears throat> given the user is uh, the change now swap experience in the uh, in the product that they uh, that they like already grown to love like a crypto wallet that they already use uh, for example like uh, I'm pretty sure that a lot of uh, people uh, already used uh, change now exchanges in their lifetime uh, without even re ever realizing that because like <laughs> they like swapped uh, XMR to BTC in in cake wallets like that, that that's us <laughs> you know so yeah that's like uh, one way a user can be uh, like that's why how it can be beneficial to a user like but it's more of like you know business to business stuff going on we offer like a lot of uh, business solutions to a lot of uh, to a lot of clients that's like uh, the b2b stuff and, st uh, and everything uh, for example uh anyone can make a white label exchange using our uh, using our platform like your own your own cryptocurrency exchange powered by change now no coding and nothing just just like that uh so yeah, that's and of course, like a lot of uh, a lot of other um, lot of other projects also like in our own ecosystem use our API, including our own non-custodial now wallets, uh, which soon will integrate Digibyte uh, as far as I'm concerned, which is also like quite rad. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Yeah, well, that's great. And uh, when someone uses your exchange to do a swap or a purchase like how much kyc is required of the user and does that vary from region to region uh well there is no mandatory kyc on change now so uh <clears throat> sometimes we do have like an automated risk prevention system uh that like if we get uh, you know uh, some some information that the funds might be involved like in some illicit activity like some money laundering you know like some hacks or something like this uh, shout out to our partners at slow mist and ml bots that help us eliminate bad actors from the scene yeah well we might we, we might uh, ask the user to pass the kyc but uh, most users can opt out of it you know so it's like if you don't if you don't feel like passing the kyc we can send back your funds in their entirety like complete refund and everything uh because like we are more of a like privacy oriented cryptocurrency exchange. A lot of people use change now to exchange privacy coins. Uh, and of course we value the anonymity of our customers and we do not store or collect any user data. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh, that's oh. great. 
but uh, if we if you were to buy fiat uh, like crypto with fiat or sell your crypto for fiat there will be kyc involved but because like it's uh it's being done through our uh, through our partners at Simplex, Transac, and uh, uh, Gardarian. Yeah, they do require some sort of KYC as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. but like crypto swaps are mostly are mostly without any sort of KYC whatsoever. Okay, that's great. Good to know. Uh, and Tim, uh, you know, if we could go back to uh, you know API keys, because I know with now nodes, you also offer a free API key to over uh, sixty blockchains. Uh, I think you mentioned before. And what is that API? key do for a node and you know what kind of user do with that uh okay uh, uh, as i mentioned before uh for now we support almost 60 blockchains uh but you can get access to them with only one api key and let me clarify what it is uh the api key itself uh is a special order of 30 symbols generated randomly uh with it you can pass the authentication uh, to our api built on a node so uh, different tariff plans uh, on the now node service allow you to generate uh, from three to 100 individual keys, uh, which can be used in different parts of your project for your convenience and accurate tracking of the uh, requests to nodes. That's it. It's just the uh, authentic authentication uh, tool just okay. to pass to the node. I see. And tell me, what's the difference between uh, a shared node and a dedicated node? Hmm, there were several differences between them. Um, you can connect to all the networks at once and set all the all the all the requests with the API key. Uh, if we are talking about the shared nodes, uh, the best feature, I think, uh, of the shared node is that you can um, uh, access all the blockchains uh, with uh, uh, API key. It depends on the node provider, but no nodes allow. Uh, you to get almost 60. And what's more, uh, one uh, of the typical features is that um, many users can have access to our shared nodes at one time. So, uh, and depending on your tariff plan, uh, you will have restrictions uh, on the number of requests. It's from 5,000 daily to 100 million monthly. And what about dedicated nodes? Uh, it's uh, a more private, uh, you know, it's more a secure solution for big crypto companies. When you purchase a dedicated node um, at now now it's, uh, you will get access to one network with absolutely no limits and um, at, at, at all absolutely no limits uh, with perfect uptime and response time also and it will be installed by our team uh, especially for your project for your company and what is most important i think is that uh, connection to the dedicated node is realized uh, not by the api key but by the personal URL uh, with personal login and password included uh, in it. So these are the differences. Okay. Shared Great. nodes have limits, dedicated node doesn't have limits and the connection is a little bit different. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, well, you know, you, you mentioned privacy just a minute ago. Uh, obviously that's something that's very important to uh, many of us, especially in the digital space. Uh, so mm -hmm. can you share with us what type of uh, data uh, does now nodes collect from its users? Mm, actually, uh, we collect only emails from registration on our service, which are extremely secured. Honestly, I'm not a tech guy, but uh, as I know, the perimeter is protected by firewall and uh, by Cloudflare. Cloudflare, I think I spelled it correctly. And uh, all our services are built on Linux. Uh, it's also, I know. And what about the payment details? It's a very important thing, very important point. Uh, we don't store absolutely anything. Uh, we use a payment provider. So the very important detail is that we don't store any private keys also and don't see our clients' transactions. Uh, it's extremely important in the crypto sphere, I think. Yes, so. yeah, definitely. Okay, well, that's great. So Anna, coming back to you, um, when it comes to marketing, what are some uh, upcoming promotions or marketing campaigns that now Nodes has uh, coming up in the future? Uh, in the following few weeks, uh, we will issue a promo code with a 15% discount uh, on any of our paid plans, uh, which will be available for the Digibyte community members. Get the promo code. Uh, you basically need to follow our social media uh, and send us a direct message that you came from DigiCorp Labs um, YouTube channel. 
uh, and we will send you your promo code. Um, or you can text directly to Tim in his Telegram, uh, which you can find in the description uh, to this video. Um, we are usually performing the promos uh, quite often with our partners. Um, in previous months, um, we conducted a massive quiz and giveaway with one of our partners. There was a price of $200, which you could get from the Now Wallet uh, account after you get the email with uh, quizzes rules um, to find a mnemonic phrase uh, in our blog article. The winner got the phrase and withdrew um, the price very fast in 51 minutes, uh, even it was a very hard topic. Um, from the moment, the, the 51 minutes from the moment the participants received uh, the emails with the rules. Um, also, uh, we are performing quite often the giveaways uh, and giving out um, our pro plan. Um, about this promise, um, you can get to know from our official, official accounts in Twitter, in Telegram community, uh, in Discord community. Um, so we are basically we're doing many promos and for Digibyte community, we are going to do more promos. Uh, um, so I invite you to our social media to check to be, uh, uh, to stay tuned and to see it uh, the moment when we issue a new promos for the Digibyte community. Well, that's great. You know, uh, yeah, we'll make sure to put all the links down below to uh, all of your social media uh, platforms and, of course, all your websites and uh, all those things to where, you know, our viewers and the Digibyte community can connect uh, with everyone and stay informed of all the contests and campaigns that are coming out because, yeah, it's a lot of great prizes you guys are offering and a lot of great discounts and, uh, you know, fantastic services. So, um, yeah, that's exciting to hear. Uh, you know, Paul, uh, so a question for you, uh, you know, maybe you can tell us, I know now recently uh, released its own token. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about, well, you know, what are some of the use cases of that token and how can users uh, use it? Yeah, for sure. Like uh, now token is basically like a utility token for the now ecosystem. Uh, like if we're talking about business applications, um, it is much cheaper for uh, businesses to like that wants to, you know, like uh, have some paid features of change now or like now nodes or like now payments uh, if they want to implement some sort of uh, paid listing on change now for example it's way cheaper if they pay with now token uh, th than it is like to be paid in like in any other currency out there uh, also like we uh, we give it out as cash back to our to the registered users like if you make an exchange uh, while setting up an account with us or just simply by using our uh, our mobile app or not now wallets uh, you will receive some now tokens as a cash back. Uh, like uh, now token can later be like staked for up to 25% APY. Uh, APY. And uh, yeah, like we're all, we're constantly expanding like the the use cases of now token. Uh, and like we want we want it to be like uh, at the heart of everything now group does. So yeah, we think that like uh, there might be some exciting developments in later months for now token. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. So uh, it, you use this part of like a rewards program for users yeah. of businesses. And of course, like you said, uh, you know, you offer discount uh, mm -hmm. on those services for, for those who use your token to, to purchase those services. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a fantastic UK use case, uh, especially since, uh, you know, it's such a large group, as you mentioned, you know, you've got change now, now nodes, and then there's now wallet and now payments. Mm -hmm. You guys are, uh, you know, you've got your fingers in like, every corner of the industry. Uh, so it's, uh, it's great, you know, cause it seems like, you know, it can be like a one-stop shot in many cases of just whatever Definitely. services Definitely. you need, you know, now it's got you covered. Um, so, you know, if we could, uh, Tim, I wanted to ask you because I saw on your website uh, that you guys have a web socket uh, coming soon for Digibyte. Uh, can you explain what that is and how it works? Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, web sockets, um... Uh, available to every now nodes user on a paid plan on several blockchains for now. And uh, we add new ones almost every month. And let me clarify uh, what what's the WebSocket is. Uh, okay, uh, you can send the RPC requests to the node. For example, you send one get balance 
requests and receive uh, one response from the node. So one request, one response. Uh, and in the case of using WebSocket, you also send one request and you make a connection to the node or, or to a blue book uh, where the WebSocket is turned on and it will send you uh, all the requested information in a kind of a, in a kind of a tunnel and answers will come back in a continuous flow. So it makes your code really much thinner and allows you to get all the parameters needed re really much faster. And so uh, now we have this opportunity absolutely free for everyone uh, on every tariff plan beginning from the pro one. And uh, Digibyte is coming soon. It's the nearest in the, in the nearest plans you know, on our roadmap. Yeah, well, that's great. You know, obviously we are uh, here in the Digibyte community. We uh, love to hear whenever uh, new developments or features services uh, are being applied and, and uh, are incorporate Digibyte in some way. So uh, definitely excited to hear that news and look forward to uh, having that feature available. Uh, you know, and I'm, I'm curious because obviously, you know, we have a limited amount of time to talk about uh, all these various topics and particular nodes, but it seems like it's, it's such a, a deep uh, subject. Uh, you know, what are some, do you guys have uh, any resources uh, for people who wanted to follow up uh, and, and learn more about, uh, you know, uh, nodes and Web3 and the now nodes ecosystem, you know, where, where's some good places that people can go to get more information? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a blog on our website where we regu regularly post um, new educational articles uh, about blockchain, about nodes, about web free developing. We post many guidelines, um, uh, reviews. So if you are an independent developer or if you work in a major company or if you working in startup uh, and you are interested about Web3 developing, you will definitely find many interesting topics which will help you to improve your skills. Um, so just go to our blog and um, uh, check our information, which we uh, gladly share with everybody who is interested in Web3 industry. Oh, that's great. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we'll make sure to put all those links down below in the description. So anyone watching this video, if they want to, you know, learn more information, uh, check out the, mm -hmm. those resources and uh, learn more uh, about, you know, all the things uh, that you guys have to offer. So, um, and Tim, let, let me ask you, um, you know, what, is there like, is there like a, for like a, like a trial period or a test period that users where they can just kind of like, you know, get their feet wet uh, and, and just kind of test things out uh, uh, before they, they dive in all the way? Yeah, sure. Uh, the first month of using our service is absolutely free. You can create an account using your email address uh, on our website and get a free API key there just after the confirmation. It will take less than a minute from clicking the link. Um, I think it will be in the description and getting access to 60 blockchains. So it's quite easy. And the first month will be free. Okay. You can test it out. Nice. Okay. And what, what would you say, like, you know, what, you know, what do you need to do to, you know, start working uh, with a node provider company? Uh, you know, why is it better to use a service as opposed to just using uh, the public node or, or, or just building your own node? Uh, seriously, awesome question. I think uh, many of our viewers will ask uh, it at the beginning of our conversation, why should I use node provider? There are a lot of public nodes open through the, uh, through the internet. Uh, I would like to clarify this point. Uh, well, let's imagine that you decided to build a crypto project, uh, for example, a wallet or exchange service, whatever. Uh, but how will you get all the information about transactions, addresses, assets, and also transaction fees or the number of blocks? Uh, at the moment, you need to expand uh, your own node on your servers or rent some cloud services or find uh, a convenient and stable node provider. However, uh, if you want to reduce costs and save money and focus more on developing of your project, it's much better to outsource all the node infrastructure and maintenance to a node provider company. It's quite easy, I think, to use uh, the public node, as I mentioned before, uh, for the first time. But uh, I mean, at the beginning of your crypto development journey, but when you start to expand the number of supported networks, uh, it becomes harder to find uh, you know, stable, reliable public nodes. Uh, and what happens more often you will face the limits of public nodes when your company will start to grow. Uh, 
and when you will send more requests to, to know the public will block you because of the limits and that's the main point and of course you can build your own ecosystem but believe me it's not interesting at, interesting at all uh, to spend time and team resources to support it maintenance it's better to be involved in the development process it's and uh, include as many new features as possible in your project so uh, here you should find a reliable and stable outsourcing uh, solution which will uh, solve all the issues uh, with updating software uh, and developing API for the node and upgrading servers by adding some storage monthly or weekly and uh, where the blockchain becomes bigger and heavier. Uh, that's all I think you always have two ways to solve it, but when you want 100% uptime and get everything at once uh, in one place, a node provider is the best way, I think. And uh, what's more, as Anna mentioned before, uh, we write many technical articles in our blog and uh, on our website on how to connect to this or that node using also public free solutions as well. Uh, each coin's documentation has a pretty detailed description of, of how to do it. And we are not aiming to be instead of free options. We exist for crypto businesses and developers to work, work stably and quickly and safely, you know. And no provider for business is more profitable than other options because of, uh, I think the main point is the security. And we always prepare two nodes for customers. Public nodes won't give uh, you this solution. Uh, I mean, uh, it's a backup solution for every uh, who uses our service. Uh, in the, uh, if the blockchain has uh, updates or something crashes, yeah, it happens uh, sometimes. Our tech team uh, switches users to a second backup node until the situation is fixed. So the way uh, user is not experiencing any downtime. And also we have 24 hours a day support team. The public nodes won't, won't give you this. You'll scroll in the forums and chats to uh, find out how to solve your issue. But uh, in uh, case of working with us, uh, we'll fix everything for you. And uh, I think it's the main point. And also we uh, warn users and the community beforehand uh, about updates and the blockchain forks and any changes of the blockchain. So uh, businesses may also have their own node for infrastructure. Uh, it's a quite a good scenario, but uh, as we discussed earlier, this requires a uh, really huge resource, uh, both from a technical perspective and from the team itself. You need to servers, a technical department, your own DevOps, a support team, and many more. But using a provider is just cheaper. It's more profitable. That's it. And yeah. you also save your time. Yeah, Instead yeah. Of you save time, resources, money. It's the main point. You want yeah. not to save in your time. Yeah, yeah. And, and headaches too, I'm sure. Uh, if, you know, if, if something stops working and you're trying to figure out uh, yeah. why it's not working and, you know, that can be, uh, you know, quite a, a pain to try and resolve that issue. Whereas, you know, if, you, if you're, you know, using a service such as yourselves, you know, a lot of times mm -hmm. maybe it's it's uh, it's one phone call or maybe you don't even notice that, that there was, you know, a hiccup somewhere because things, you know, it, you guys had that, you know, the backup plan in place and it failed over the way it's supposed to. And yeah, also, everything continues uh, to almost work. everything uh, fixes in a semi-automatic way. But if you uh, see some issue or something doesn't work, you just type a few words in your uh, support, in our support uh, chat or in our Telegram community and our technical team and support team will help you immediately, almost immediately. Yeah. That's great. You know, Paul, if we come back to you, because uh, I know, um, you know, Change Now also offers a number of business solutions such as traffic monetization and liquidity provider uh, and API. Um, you know, can you tell us more about those features and give us an example of how a company or an individual can utilize them? Yeah, for sure. Like, for, uh, let's say you're a business owner uh, that has a website, or like just simply a crypto website owner, and you want to integrate, uh, you want to integrate like some sort of uh, you know, like monetization to your website, you can install our widget, like uh, that allows people to exchange crypto right right through your website. Uh, it will be a change, like a usual change them exchange, but uh, like the website owner will get will get some profit out of it because like it's sort of like an affiliate program, which we also have. Uh, so 
uh, actually uh, we can get you an affiliate program mike <laughs> you can you can set it up on our website okay. yeah like uh, let's make a link to like under this video a referral one so that you know <laughs> <laughs> okay that's yes. great uh, i i need to get my own website uh, first so uh, oh, it's, uh it's, but but you know you, you bring up a great point though uh because it sounds like you know people can use the api to install your widget onto their yep. page yep. Uh, and then they can control how much kind of like like what the fees are is yep. my understanding yep. that correctly so if they want to get you know larger cut or or less then they can exactly they can yeah. have control yeah. of that okay well that, yeah. that's a great feature yeah uh and also like for you know what i was saying about uh, like the the affiliate link we just we also have like four people that have uh, that, that, run, that run their blogs that run like youtube youtube vlogs uh, such as yourself uh we can just offer you like an, an affiliate link uh that yeah that can ge generate you some revenue for our exchanges so like if anybody's if anybody's watching right now that wants to you know like set an affiliate program with us the link the links will be in the description you know uh come check us out like let's let's make your your youtube channel work for you <laughs> okay okay great yeah i mean it's yeah whether it's youtube or you know people that they're on other social media platforms like twitter oh, i'm sure you know then yeah, they can create their link and share it uh and then whoever uses that link then they get a percentage back of whatever uh yeah, exactly. is is transacted through through change now yeah well that, that's that's a great feature I'm, I'm curious you know are there other um features or developments that change now has in the pipeline that uh you can maybe give us a few details on and share with us of course yeah like uh, uh change now is at the heart of the entire now group actually so like uh, the growth of now group will also be growth for change now as well. So we're we're more focused on like you know like uh, sort of a lateral growth as opposed to like uh, epical, <laughs> like uh, going in all directions at once. Uh, so like for change now it will be uh, more integrations with other uh, with other businesses, including some web browser uh, coming right up, uh, and also like some very popular hardware wallet that's like in the works right now. Let's leave it as that. Let's, let's leave it at that. Okay. Right, yeah, like for uh, for now payments, it will be more businesses using um, using crypto for uh, crypto payments as like the payment method. Uh, for now nodes, it will be like more developers using uh, using now nodes. Uh, for for now wallets, it will be more assets and more users. And like uh, I think Digibyte is coming to now wallets soon as well. And like for now tracker, it's gonna be more users as well, like as well as uh, like deeper integration into like the now ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, we're always like zumbling down on mass adoption, and like uh, we'd like to be there when it like when it reaches the point where like it's it's really an unstoppable like it it is already an unstoppable uh, event at this point. But uh, like we want we are there for like the non-custodial future that like we want to be a part of. I definitely support what you just say. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like uh, you guys are really you know you're at the tip of the spear of the cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, industry as far as like implementing new features and products. Uh, you know, Tim. Uh, you know, yeah, are there other um, you know developments on the the nodes side of uh, for for now nodes that you guys have uh, uh, on your roadmap that uh, you can share with us? Yeah, Paul also mentioned that uh, our plans is to, to integrate us uh, to as many projects as possible. That's definitely right. Uh, first of all, uh, I think we strive to provide as many shared nodes as possible. Now we have 60 and we would like to increase this number in the future. And we are extremely interested in supporting the community of developers and want more people to build and to develop uh, crypto projects. And therefore our goal is uh, to provide a really high quality infrastructure to expand web three mass adoption as also Paul mentioned. And uh, also our roadmap is you know, is updating uh, from month to month because we build uh, individual solutions and uh, deploy new features at high priority to our key clients based on their needs. Uh, and in the near future, we will introduce uh, shared Ton node, uh, shared Ripple uh, node, and we will install and turn on WebSockets on Digibyte, Ethereum Proof of Work, uh, Litecoin and Dogecoin. Uh, this month. Uh, at the beginning of the 2023, there will be customized tariff plans available. It's quite an interesting thing uh, uh, where every user can choose uh, networks and features only that he needs and pay 
much more, much less than now. And what's more, we will add WebSocket connections to every node where it's possible to do. And these are the main steps, I think, the main plans. No, oh, that's that's very exciting. Uh, you know, it's um, you know, I love to hear about you know when when you talk about uh, you know working with the developers and you know it seems like you know, every time you you, uh, you you work on a with a client about you know a certain issue you you learn a little something different because there's new challenges and yeah, sure. and things that pop up and then you can integrate that into the, the larger work that you do. Um, mm -hmm. So it's it's great to hear that you know you guys are continue to uh, innovate and evolve and, and grow your services uh, that you can provide for, for the industry. Uh, so, to do yeah, that's great. And then I know you uh, mentioned uh, before about some of the upcoming uh, uh, marketing campaigns uh, that you guys have uh, in the pipeline, especially when it comes to the Digibyte community. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just curious, you know, uh, beyond Digibyte, what are some of the other, uh, uh, you know, marketing campaigns that you guys have uh, for the crypto uh, ecosystem at large? Um, the following week, we are going to um, do some campaigns with um, EOS um, blockchain. Um, we are not announcing it yet because we are still um, making it, um, we are preparing it for the EOS community. Um, also, uh, we are going to um, we are going to place our promo code for some other communities. Also, as I mentioned, for the Digibyte community, um, we are going to place it for um, EOS community, also for Tron community, and for a few other communities too. Um, it is limited, uh, but uh, we want to share it with uh, as many people as it possible who is really interested in developing in web in web three industry. Uh, so for us, it's important that um, real enthusiasts who believe in web three and um, in blockchain, which they are relying to, um, will be uh, um, able to access our notes with a discount so um as i mentioned for all the following promos um you better go to check um our website uh, our sorry our social medias um because we are uh we can announce something very fastly sometimes we are not planning for the long future we are just it come up it comes up and uh, we just uh, uh, set it with our partners. So I definitely suggest to check our social medias. Okay, well, that's great. Um, yeah, it sounds like you guys are very active, uh, not just, you know, with the Digibyte community, of course, but with many other cryptocurrency communities and, and the whole industry uh, as a whole. Uh, so it's great to see you guys, you know, very active and, uh, you know, providing support and just, you know, helping get the word out for, for a lot of these great projects. Uh, you know, guys, this talk is, uh, you know, it's been fantastic uh, talking to all of you. Um, you know, before we wrap things up, are there any topics or questions uh, that we didn't get around to, uh, things that you'd like to, to touch upon before we uh, uh, wrap things up? Well, I think now that we discussed a lot of topics, they were yeah. great. It's almost one hour, so we might have covered so, yeah. some of the now notes, it's all. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. Well, like I said, uh, this has been a very fantastic conversation. I've really learned a lot and, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, following your work uh, as you guys continue to innovate and provide new features for your products and for the industry. Uh, I hope, uh, you know, maybe down the road, you guys can come back on and, and talk more about some of these latest developments and share them with our audience and, and help inform and educate, uh, you know, as more and more people come into the space, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to forget that, you know, uh, there's a lot of newcomers that come in every day and they, they've got the same questions that, you know, uh, you know, I had, you know, when I first got in a few years ago and um, and of course, as the technology continues to develop, things change and you got to learn things that um, that just simply weren't there before. So uh, you know, I thank you all for coming on to the show and helping talk more about change now, talk more about now nodes and help educate and inform our audience. And also we'll be looking out for a lot of those great promos uh, 
that you guys are offering uh, with some of your, your contests. Uh, so, Paul, Anna, and Tim, thank you so much for joining us on Get Right with Digibyte. Uh, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for thank having you. us. Thank you for inviting us.